What's up guys, it's me, your badass who's driven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so here we are doing another side quest. Uh, we're going to be surfing around areas that we have yet to, gone, uh, to go to. Wow, I can't even speak properly. Now that we have the surf technique, we can uh, locate some stuff, discover some stuff and all that good, and uh, we'll hopefully capture some different Pokemon right here too. Uh, let's see, I don't think we can surf right here, but I think we're going to be finding some other interesting stuff along the way right here. So now in the last episode, we found, uh, let's see, an extra area close to Fall Arbor Town, I would like to say. And now, we are going to be going to, I am going straight to my dad's place because there is a, there is a, well, there's two places right there where you can surf and grab some stuff. And then, uh, let's see, well, I gotta, god dang it. Alright, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta start moving it around right here. Alright, so let's, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and jam right here. There we go. Alright, so here we are in Petalburg uh, City. And I'm gonna be surfing around, locating some of the items that we need right here. And, I don't know, let's see what happens. So here we go, we found ourselves an ether. And I believe you can actually find another item right around here. Let's see. Mm, no, there's nothing right here. And uh, let's see, we're gonna be going a little bit further and finding some other stuff. Not battling any Pokemon right there. Uh, once you get the secret potion, or not the secret potion, but the secret base or secret power move, and once you are enabled to surf, Pokemon are gonna start appearing onto your uh, onto your screen right here, onto the watery area, as as you can see. Got a Pokemon here that's luring us, and uh, yeah, kind of. Oh wait, yeah, it's definitely a Pokemon I've never caught before. And here we found ourselves a Max Revive, always nice to have. And well, let's continue on with our adventure right now. Oh yes, let's go. Let's see, where's another place that we haven't gone yet? Well, I could always go to Fall Arbor Town, but eh, that's a little bit far, far ahead right there. So, I guess right here we're gonna be our, we're gonna be on our adventure right now, on Route 104. Now that we got Surf, we can, we can actually swim onto the sea right here. We don't even need a uh, Captain Briny. I think that's what his name is. The only problem is that we will be getting attacked by Pokemon. So let's go ahead and just buy, our, uh, get ourselves some, a few repels, and let's move on right here. As you can see, it's all it's all oceans right here. Oceans 11, 12, 13. You guys ever watched that movie? It's pretty fun. And well, as pro as many of you guys would already know, I am looking for battle. So let's go right. Actually, you know what? We got the right Pokemon right here for the job. Let's go right ahead and battle her. My body feels lighter in the water. It's like I've gotten slimmer. Probably. Who knows? Okay, so here we go. Summer Beverly would like to, or Swimmer Beverly would like to battle, and she's coming with her Wilmer. As you can see, it's a big, big, big Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and just destroy this guy. Now that we got Raiden right here, bam. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Raiden has been defeated, and everybody's getting experience points right there, and... She's gonna be coming out with an Azumarill, so that's a that's a good a good matchup right there. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here with the discharge. Alrighty, discharge. Oh yes, and it's also a Fairy type Pokemon, so you know if you had a Poison type Pokemon there lying around or something, good Pokemon to actually go. And look at that, Hydra two grows to level 41 and is learning Crunch. Let's see, it does have a. Actually, it does have Dragon Rage that I probably don't need, so I'm going to take away Dragon Rage, because this is an automatic 40, and I, I, I do have other uh, other Hydras on my team, or, you know, in the, in the PC and all that crud, so that's another thing right there. That's another thing. So let's continue on right here and continue to battle a lot more people. As you can see, my Pokemon are, and I are proud of our stamina. We can swim all night. Not all night, but all day. Okay, so here we go. We're challenged by triathlete Vin, not Vin Diesel, and he will be coming with his uh, Whalmer right here. And here I am, coming with Raiden, the God of Thunder, and the only electric type move that it has. Yes, a discharge. Bam. And no more Whalmer right there. Look at that. Feeling good about myself right now. Pokemon are doing so good. Look at that. Raiden at level 33. 
And, uh, well, let's see if any of, you know, nobody else gets more points. So here we go. He's coming out with the spiel. So let's continue on right here. And let's go ahead and use a discharge attack. There we go. And, yeah, spiel has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Again, I do like the twilight area. Like, the twilight on the, onto the game right here. You can just see, like, orangey. Orangey, orangey, and all orange and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see. There is a Pokemon right there that is rare. Let's see what we got. It's level 35. It has miss and it's a pretty wing and its potential is one star. So not the kind of Pokemon that I would want to have. So let's see. There's another Pokemon right there. And we got trainers waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and uh, actually let's go ahead and use Sage of the Halo right here. I haven't used this guy in quite some time. And let's see what this guy has to say. There's supposed to be a mythical or a mystical rock around here. Do you know anything about it? Probably. Let's go. Going up against the Ruin Maniac. His name is Foster. He will be coming out with his nose pass right here. Alrighty. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. And I'm moving my microphone just a little bit. It's tipping. It's close to the tip right there close to the tip so let's go with the leaf blade right here and look at that leaf blade oh yes oh yeah take care of business right now and uh, well experience here is doing all that stuff for us yes he's thinking <laughs> he's thinking too much of the rock okay so that's good so let's uh, move on right here as you can see route 105 to Petalburg city and what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna you know, glance around and all that crud and see what we have. And, uh, well, hopefully we find another trainer here and there, because, you know, we do love battles, right? We really, really, really love battles. So here we go, Hydra... Two? Four? Six? Eight? Who do we hate? I don't know. As you can see, this is the mystical rock that said, uh, you know, Digger, or, you know, archaeologist was looking at. And then, yes, you can actually find yourself a, uh, a mystical Pokemon right around there. We will be covering that later on in our adventure, and, well, let's see. Time to get the heck out of here. Alrighty. Hydra 2. Yeah, don't sneak up on the Pokemon like that. Okay, so we got another Pokemon trainer right here. I am not trying to glory hug Sage right now, so let's go ahead and go with uh, Raiden again. In our last episode, you guys saw my newest Pokemon that I kind of evolved off screen. Yeah, Fluff Blade. I got Skyblade, I got Starblade, and now I got Fluffblade. The Blades. Now I'm wondering what kind of Pokemon I will name, uh, I will name the, the Kalos Pokemon. I, I kind of want to know that. Fireblade. That's a good name right there. Oh my god, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Look at that. Discharge does its thing. No more Carvana. Carvana's been, uh, you know, Carvana's been uh, defeated quickly, easily. Gattaca. Alrighty, so let's see. I think there is hidden items right around here somewhere. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put on our, our secret thingy right here. Our dowsing machine. Our dowsing antennas. Oh, wait. Look at that. We found ourselves an iron, which we could actually use for, for some extra cash here. And uh, let's see. Where the hell are you? I'm looking for an item. Oh, oh. There it is. We found ourselves a big pearl. So we're gonna be we're gonna be selling quite a few things just to cash out and all that stuff. And let's see. Well, let's see. There, there might be another item right here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it might be right around here somewhere. There we go. Right here. We found ourselves another heart scale, which we can use to actually give to the lady over at Slateport to teach our Pokemon a few moves here and there. You know, we definitely need it. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and use another repel because why not? And here we are, Route 106, and we got a Pokemon trainer waiting for us. Let's see, it's my backyard. I'm not going to take it easy just because you're a kid. Maybe you should because, it's, you know, it's a nice thing to do. Here we go. Nicole wants the battle, and she will be coming with her Goldeen. Alrighty, Goldeen. Looking, uh strong and everything but here we go with Raiden the god of thunder let's go with a discharge oh yes very very strong move 
destroying everybody with some discharge. Hell yeah! Look at that. And Desert Storm, growing to level 27. Now, that's another Pokemon that I didn't want to evolve off screen. Mainly because it is a Pokemon that I am going to be using on screen. You know, that kind of stuff. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, not be attacked by that Pokemon. And let's go ahead and find ourselves somewhere right here. Alright, so we are close to Dooford, and this Pokemon right here is looking at me, and it has disappeared on me, but this guy wants to talk to me. <laughs> I'm a lousy runner, but in the water you can't catch me. Okay, alrighty. Homeboy here doesn't can't be caught, so let's go, and he's coming out with his own freaking Hydra, the Blue Gyarados. So let's go right ahead and uh, destroy this guy. Of course, he's going to intimidate us. Freaking A. Okay, so let's go. Discharge. A discharge Palooza all the way. Look at that. Gyarados has been defeated. Suck it. Alrighty. Alrighty. And everybody is getting some points. Douglas has been defeated, and yes, he gives up. He concedes. That's what everybody likes to say right there. And, well, I think we are close to Duford, but we're going to be battling some more trainers right here. And for what it looks like on my map, I can... I can actually get a rematch around here, too. So here we go, another uh, triathlete, and this guy is Caleb, and he will be coming out with his Whalmer right here. I really wish they would have came out with Whalmer just a little early on, because, it, you know, it's one of those Pokemon that you you would like to have on your team just because of the bulkiness, the bigness, the moves, the diviness, and all that crud. Believe it or not, it, does, it doesn't look big onto the screen right here, but it is very, very big from what it says right on the Pokédex. And look at that. Yes, defeated. So easy. So goddamn easy. Alrighty, and there's another Pokemon ready to be captured and all that crud. And here we are in Dooford Town. So we're going to park right here. And yeah, that is... That will actually be it for this episode right here, guys. Yes, I know that I'm shortening it up. I'm cutting it up into pieces. But going into the next route, I believe it's Route 106. Hold on, let me see. I think we've already been there. Okay, so where we're going next, it's Route 107, Route 108. There's going to be a few things that we're going to be looking at in that specific region before we get into Slayport City. So, yeah, that's why I kind of want to like cut it in two, three halves and all that stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Aura. See you guys.